All right, let's look at number six. We're going to look at six and 23. To start with, this is the same thing I'm going to do is plug in this nine, meaning this, I'm going to replace the x simply with a negative nine. To replace that with negative nine does this. And very simply, the absolute value of negative nine just means how far is negative nine from zero? Well, it's nine places, so it's positive nine. So it's just nine minus seven, and nine minus seven is two. That's all you had to do on that one. Or I'm going to show you how you can do that on your calculator. You can see that calculator right up there. So I can go to my uh, go to my math button. And I have to arrow over right up here to numerals, number. And option one, I can hit one or I can just hit enter. And I'm going to put negative nine. Now I have to arrow out and it's a minus seven. And hit enter and I've also got that that way right there. Now something else I want to show you is we go here to problem number 23. All right. We have it right here. We can do the same thing with our calculator here. Notice I can go four parentheses and I'm going to put instead of an X, I'm going to put that what? Negative two, close the parentheses. I'm squaring it and then I'm adding to it the square root, second square root. Now, if you don't have the newer feature, you'll have to put this in parentheses. And I'll go negative eight, and I'm gonna put a parentheses here for the negative two, and that will represent that. And all I have to do is simply hit the word enter, and it shows me, oh, wait a minute, it's wrong. Notice what I have, I have a divided sign here. It should not be a divided sign, it should be what? Four parentheses, once again, negative two. I am very good about doing some things wrong, plus, I don't know why I hit the divide. And now I do second square root, negative eight, and inside here, parentheses, negative two. Notice it's very easy on the calculator to push one button wrong. Do you see that easy mistake? And I happened to catch it because I knew what the answer was. I knew the answer wasn't um, right. Oh, and I saw this one wrong because guess what I forgot to do with the answer? I still didn't get the right answer. Four right here, see this here, negative two? What did I forget to do on the second one? As I close it, I forgot to what? Square it, plus second square root, negative eight, parentheses, negative two, close the parentheses, enter. And now we finally have the right answer. I'm like, whoa. It took me like three times before I got to plug in the calculator right. That's why I really don't like, I'm not a big calculator person. With respect to my days, I didn't have the calculators. But the way I would have worked it, the reason I knew that was wrong is I'd done this in my head. Because simply f of negative 2 is 4 times. And everywhere that the x appears, I make parentheses first. And then all I do is go back and plug in that value. Negative 2, negative 2. Did I copy it right? No, I did not. Once again, that was a plus. Still making no mistake. Negative 2 squared is positive 4, so you have 4 times 4, plus, and negative 8 times negative 2 is 16. Well, 4 times 4 is 16, and the square root of 16 is 4, which makes 20. Be very careful. I've worked this problem out basically what amounts to 4 times, because I easily made a mistake on a sign somewhere, which is very easy to do, especially in the calculator or even when you're writing them down. Make sure you copy things down correctly and take your time. Sometimes the one we miss are the ones we know the most.